Welcome back. One couple turned an alleyway into a pandemic project when they transformed it into a restaurant and you can find it tucked away in Rehoboth Beach. Take a look at this week's Foodie Friday with the Federal Bistro and Federal Fritter. Welcome back to another edition of Foodie Friday. This week we made it up to Rehoboth Beach to try something new, somewhere that's bringing a taste of DC to Delmarva. Let's go check out Federal Fritters. When DC natives Ellen Kassoff and Todd Gray opened the Federal Bistro and Federal Fritter, they commissioned a mural highlighting DC landmarks, including their DC restaurant, which they're carrying over their restaurant practices from. Federal is a upscale, casual bistro with uh, fine dining inspiration on our cooking and great cocktails and wines by the glass and most importantly, some good friendly service. With Federal Fritter in the name, I had to try the menu item that Todd has spent 20 years perfecting. I came from Italian training. I thought it would be fun to do risotto fritters, risotto arancini, so I called them fritters, and it just got legs. Todd rolls his Parmesan risotto into balls, which he coats with panko before deep frying for a couple of minutes. He serves them in a cone with room for one of their house-made dipping sauces, like the saffron aioli. You're talking about the arancini, a little smaller than what you would normally expect with the arancini, but this is just all risotto, it's not stuck. Surprisingly, the fritters are light, which makes them a great appetizer or boardwalk treat. There's just that first crunch from the outside that immediately goes to being creamy. Thank you, it's thank you. delicious, yeah. and you get that pop of flavor from the saffron. Tasty, amazing, amazing. Next up, a creamy truffle pasta. Prior to filming, Todd prepared egg yolk dough from egg yolks and flour. Together, we hand crank the dough into fettuccine and tagliolini. Again, you know, really, just really hearty Italian classic egg yolk noodles tossed in a little truffle butter. We put some shaved celery, some glazed salsify, i.e. oyster root, sort of unusual vegetable, has a really nice earthiness to it. Todd finishes the pasta with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. He gave me the honor of grating the black truffle onto the pasta, and let me tell you, this is the star of the dish. You get the hint of that garlic that you're using with that sauce, but the earthiness of it all is just outstanding, that flavor of it, because truffle, very earthy, but you're using these root vegetables too. It's just really sticking to this earthy, natural, in season. As if I wasn't full already, Todd had one more dish, a pan-fried Delaware rockfish. Again, in our spirit of using local, local Delaware rockfish, um, pan roasted, uh, like I showed you on camera, we do a little poêlé with a little garlic and butter, uh, giving it that bird noisette, that toasted brown butter finish. Chef Todd plates the fish with a white bean ragu made out of cannellini beans, baby carrots, and tomatoes. Then he tops the fish with crispy onions and olive oil focaccia. Not overly fishy. It's definitely more of a cleaner fish. It tastes very good, very clean, but all the flavors just play together. The white beans and the carrots on the bottom, you know, giving that color, but also giving that flavor to this dish. I can't end this foodie without emphasizing how important it is to Todd and Ellen that they source local for their ingredients. Through their efforts, they're keeping the community green in more ways than one. Our food is fresher, and we support local fishermen, local farms, it tastes better. And you, you know, generally it's, uh, it's completing the cycle when we buy from local and we serve local. And the Federal Bistro and Federal Fritter is currently open Thursday through Sunday for dinner starting at 530. They're located at 62A Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. And if you do go, be sure to tell them you saw them on Foodie Friday. And if you have a place for the foodie team to check out, you can email newsroom at 47abc.com.